Palm Beach Atlantic University Volleyball hosted the Pepsi Bash at the Beach over the weekend, taking on four different opponents starting with the Stonehill Skyhawks. Palm Beach Atlantic used a balanced attack to take down Stonehill College, getting 20 digs from Mel Buckingham, 45 assists from Becca Acevedo, and 12 kills from Christina Alessi and Faith Rome. The set was back and forth in the early going, but the Sailfish pulled away late with Faith Rome getting the set ending kill. After a close set one, Palm Beach Atlantic took control in set number two. With Ellie Roush getting the kill, Palm Beach Atlantic hit 333 as a team in the second set and then would battle their way to the finish in the third set, coming out victorious by a final of 30 to 28 and taking down the Skyhawks 3-0. PBA's second match was against the Georgia College Bobcats. It was played on Friday night and the Sailfish took care of business in game one. The second set was close though. We see the battle back and forth, the set up to the middle for Christina Alessi who led all of the Sailfish in kills again with 10. Set number two was the closest of the three with Palm Beach Atlantic winning 25-23 took the balanced attack of Faith Roan, Ellie Roush, and Christina Alessi to push PBA through to the victory. Set number three was all Palm Beach Atlantic. Stephanie Brown getting the kill to put PBA up 24-13. They would make it a quick ending, defeating the Bobcats 25-13 in the match. The Sailfish rolled into Saturday, ready to take on the Claflin University Lady Panthers, and the Sailfish came out to play early. PBA had a balanced attack once again. Becca Acevedo dished out 42 assists as Emma Ballantyne got the big kill towards the end of the match. In set number one, PBA victorious 25 to 14. Set number two, it was all Sailfish. They went on to win by a score of 25 to eight as Christina Alessi gets the back row attack to fall in for one of her 14 kills. That was the high in the match. The third set followed in much of the same fashion, with Palm Beach Atlantic cruising to a 25-14 victory. A big smash coming from Rachel Holhouse to finish off the contest to give Palm Beach Atlantic a convincing victory. The fish hit 33% as a team with a 650 mark from Christina Alessi. The fourth and final matchup was against Georgia Regents University Augusta, and Palm Beach Atlantic continued to cruise thanks to Christina Alessi's attacking. The Fish went on to win set one 25-13 and then moved into set two feeling much of that same momentum. Junior Becca Acevedo had 32 assists including this one to sophomore Stephanie Brown who had six kills and two block assists against the Jaguars to help lead to the victory. The third and final set went to Palm Beach Atlantic again by a 25-19 score as Christina Alessi picked up another kill. The senior from West Palm Beach finished with a 43% attacking percentage in the match. The Fish went 4-0 on the weekend and were the only team to put two players on the all-tournament team, including Christina Alessi who had 45 kills, 7 digs, and 11 blocks, as well as a service ace. Melissa Buckingham was also honored to the all-tournament team, picking up a tournament high of 59 digs over the weekend. A pretty good weekend, yeah. won, uh, won four sets in perfect fashion, 3-0, 3-0, 3-0, 3-0. Yeah. Uh, what does your team take uh, from this weekend, and what did you see from them that impressed you most? Well, I thought we stayed focused, particularly, and even though the game three was close in this match, we, you know, we kept our focus, we kept our composure, and we pushed it out when we needed to push it out. We really wanted to use this weekend to get Christina back in the lineup, to get Ellie back in the lineup. We added some things, back row attack with Christina on the back row, some different serving rotations that we did some, some things different. So it was a key weekend for us to, to add some things and, and hopefully come out with four wins. And so I, that gives us momentum. We've got a tough road coming up. We've got FIT coming up on Wednesday, and then we go to the crossover, and we got three really, really strong opponents there. So this was just a, a real a boost, I think, to our, our confidence moving forward.